So we got an out of nowhere Nintendo Direct Mini this morning, and to be honest, I don't have much to say about the Direct itself. There's a few things that stuck out to me that I'll be happy to chat with you in the comments. Feel free to hit me up, because, you know, I make these videos to chat with you in comments. The big thing about it I felt like, you know, putting up a video for is the fact that we got our, and I knew it would happen, you know, there's no way we would go any longer than this month without any kind of Nintendo Direct, but also without any news on who the next Smash character is going to be. And we found out that the next Smash character is going to be an ARMS character. And to be honest, when I first saw this, I'm like, this is fine! Joining the battle from ARMS. I have no problem this with this! I probably have to do a video about that. In terms of marketing, however, it is a bit of a risque move. Not a risky, but a risque. Because it's not a big, you know, it's... I need to completely redo my Fighter's Pass video because uh, this completely blew away what I thought would happen. I said in that video that, you know, depending on who the first character is, it can help us get an idea as to if this Fighter's Pass is going to go a similar way to the first volume pass. And this is not, you know, I thought the first character would be somebody big or a big surprise, you know, just something that would really catch people off guard to sell the pass. And I will say this caught me off guard, <laughs> but you know, ARMS is not a big franchise. It's not even as big as, say, Fire Emblem. But guess what? I think this is actually a way better pick than Fire Emblem. You know why? Because we have ARMS not represented in the past at all. We have ARMS, you know, as spirits. We have ARMS spirits and we have even an ARMS assist you know, summon, but we don't have a character from that franchise. And I have always thought that those characters would be a great pick for, you know, a playable character in Smash. They won't play like the other characters in the game. Like, I can't, what other character has arms that spring out like freaking springs, you know? Like, what character does that? I can talk about how the character would work long live long day, but I just have always felt like an arms character would be a great playable character in Smash and not just put that aside, put aside, you know, how the character would play. ARMS has some of the most, like, inventive world design and character designs, and I'm super excited to get levels and music from this game. Like, the tracks from this game is actually pretty jazzy surfer stadium fun stuff. It's a character that would represent something that is not in the roster. It's not in the character roster in Smash. It's represented in the game, but we have no representation of it in the main roster, and I am super happy that Splatoon gets to represent its, you know, it's a new Nintendo first party IP, and I am super glad that ARMS gets to do the same thing. That is freaking cool. The one complaint that I could see a lot of people hopping on with this though is that it's just ARMS. I don't think people are gonna complain about this as much as Byleth. I have yet to really see, you know, what people are saying about it, but just, you know, raw first impressions coming off of this direct. I don't think people are going to complain about it as much. They might be, you know, a little bit kind of bored with it. But Fire Emblem people mostly complained about because it was just an overly represented franchise in the game already. It's not that interesting of a pick because it's already in the game a ton. ARMS, however, yes, it's not a big franchise. It's only had one game and is really new, but it's a first party Nintendo IP that I really think could have slash should have been represented in the character roster. And now it is. Not everybody's gonna see it that way, but the, the at the least, you know, we know we're not getting a character that is overly represented already in the game's roster. It's somebody that isn't represented in the roster at all. So for that, I say that's the plus. And plus, I think it's a great playable character, but also I could see on the marketing standpoint, this is a bit of a... I don't know if this will pay off to really sell the pass right away. It'll pay off to sell the pass to the actual Nintendrones, you know, not the people that just got the Switch to play Skyrim or whatever. But this will help sell the people that got a Switch because they have faith in Nintendo. They want to see what Nintendo does. And and this is definitely a great Nintendo pick for the pass, which I am happy with. I'm super, like, on a personal level, I'm happy with this. But I can get the general crowd that's on the Switch because the Switch sold like hotcakes. I can see that crowd, you know, being a little bit not disappointed, but just kind of like, eh, I don't really care about this. And it is a bit worrying for, you know, the marketing standpoint for the Fires Pass Volume 2. I don't, I just don't think ARMS is really a franchise slash character that's going to help sell the pass, you know, like Joker did in the first one. However, the point of me uploading this video is to get your opinion on the matter, you know? What did you think of getting an ARMS character? We don't even know which ARMS character either, by the way. We just know it's an ARMS character. I get the feeling they're going to surprise us with some new character, and they're trying to boot the trial for ARMS because they want to announce ARMS too? I don't know, just let me know your thoughts in the comments because I'm really like, I, I, 
this was to me like the interesting part of this direct and feel free to share your thoughts about the actual direct mini itself i'd love to chat with you in the comments so leave a comment and also check out a video down below check out reactions to uh byleth maybe banjo i'm not sure which one i'll put down there but check it out and go subscribe if it's your first time here freaking appreciate you and don't forget to be geek and be proud and be awesome